And so far in this fight, especially uh, at the end of round one, Yaya dominated first round. He's up 22 to 14 in significant strikes, but head strikes were close, 9 to 9. So you never know how the judges are going to look at this thing. Neither fighter landing takedowns, but Yaya going for six, getting none. But fighters don't get credit for defending takedowns. Other than the fact that they're not spending time on their back with their opponent building up control time. Round two's underway. Yeah, yeah, 28 and 11. Brazilian Victor Henry, American 23 and 6. And very active, fast paced, phantom wave fight. And there goes Yaya looking for another takedown, and Victor Henry has defended him at all costs. Despite that, Yaya still leads his fight, though. Victor Henry's not able to connect. And Yaya, 39 years old, still looking sharp. And we're going to have a 39 year old in this fight and a 40 year old in Tim Means in the first fight of the main card. And we're starting to wear down, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, we've had back-to-back-to-back, -back -to -back, or pretty much all night in the prelims, nothing but decisions. And somehow the USC is still on pace to start the uh, main card on time. But it's getting tough. We want to see the big finishes. And we're not getting that. 340 left in round two. Right now we're 4-2 and two on the night. Let me peek who we got here. We got Victor Henry. And it's not looking good right now. And I'm sure we looked at the age of Yaya and said, hey, 39 years old, I think he's slowing down. We didn't say the same about Tim Means in the next fight. We got him winning. But nonetheless, for Yaya, I thought he was slowing down. But Victor Henry not able to capitalize just yet. Coming back a little bit in this round, though. Getting a fast start to round two. And when I say fast, he's like barely leading the round. But fast compared to how he looked in round one. And a nice takedown there by Henry. Both fighters get back up. Henry lands a nice right elbow. And this is what you want to see from Henry, right? You are fighting a 39-year-old fighter. Push the pace. Push the pace. Ooh, low kick there by Victor Henry, and his mouthpiece came out, so the ref stops it. Now we're back to action. 220 left in round two. 41 to 40 in significant strikes. This thing is getting closer. And Victor Henry taking a nice lead in head strikes, 30 to 22. So that tells me that, like in a lot of these fights, the opponent who lost round one is winning round two, and we're going to get an exciting third round. Uh, where this fight might go to another decision. We're in the Bantamweight division, ruled by Sean O'Malley, who continues to talk about going into boxing or going up to featherweight. Like, which is it? You know? And, and I get the fact that O'Malley's at his height. He's the champion. He's defending the belt. He's looking at Ilya Topuri and thinking, man, I can go up 10 pounds and compete with him. I can go into boxing and get a bunch of money, but just all these guys need to focus on their division. If you're O'Malley, just keep defending the belt. Then when it's time to re-up with the UFC, you're going to get paid. Just focus on that. Nice right there by Victor Hemmer. He's starting to pull ahead now in striking. Yaya's covering up, and Yaya's certainly slowing down. Definitely slowing down. You're seeing the momentum swing here. As Yaya is going to shoot him for a takedown, he can't get it. Victor Henry just throws him across the octagon and then pulls back and says, get up. Smart move. Now he's up by 20 head strikes, so beginning to dominate here in round two. Forty-four to twenty-four in this round. Yaya led in the first round, so he's gonna it's gonna be one to one despite the big second round. Ooh. Yaya's in trouble here. Victor Henry on top. Will we finally see a finish? Let's go, Victor. Let's go. Keep swinging. Come on, 20 seconds left. Put him, put him away. Let's go. Now he's looking to take the back. Couple hammers. 
And Yaya might sneak into round three, but he's in all types of uh, trouble right now here at the end of round two. And there's a tap, final 10 seconds. Victor Henry's going to try to pound away, but I don't think he's going to get the finish here. And this thing will go to round three, but Victor Henry's got to be feeling really good about himself heading into the uh, decisive round three. And Yaya's getting up slowly. And, and that's the age right there. And you're going to see a difference in the next fight with Tim Means because Tim Means is not going to slow down like Yaya is. And that comparison coming because you got a 39 and a 40-year-old, which is really, you know, that's grandpa style in the UFC, right? You're still fighting at 39, 40. You've been around a long time. Yaya, 40 fights as a professional. It's going to begin to take its toll. And Victor Henry really starting to unload here. And the activity is really uh, causing problems for Rainy Yaya. And it looks like his corner is working on him and they're talking to him. I hope they're not trying to convince him to come out for this round because he's looking really tired. Yeah. And they're trying to pump him up, but his facial expression is not like, not looking like he's ready for round three. 78 to 48, Victor Henry in significant strikes. But at the end of the day, it's one to one. This thing is one to one. And Yaya's, you know, shot for the takedown nine times, hasn't landed one. And that'll wear you out, too. Backer's been 11 takedown attempts, neither fighter landing a takedown. It looked like Henry landed a takedown earlier, but didn't get credit for it as Yaya got right up. Oh, you better get out of there, Henry. Leg lock. And for the first time, even though Yaya's on his back, he's trying to control Victor Henry, but it's not happening. Victor Henry kind of gets out of it, and now he's on top. And if you're Victor Henry, you need to just get out of this and stand back up. You're dominating on the feet. And look at this. Victor Henry's letting Yaya up and he's getting up slowly. I mean, if you're Victor Henry, you got to see this, right? Just go for it. Dominate round two. You're already leading big time in round three. But more importantly, can you get the finish? And Yaya goes down. He stumbles to the ground. And look, he's just tired, man. He's tired. And the ref's going to stop this thing if Yaya don't fight back. Keep swinging. Come on, Henry. Posture up. Man, the ref was close to stopping it, too. Two knockdowns now for Victor Henry. And Yaya is in all types of trouble, but he's doing a good enough job right now to hold on and not allow Henry to, to posture up, although he's trying. But he's not laying a big enough shots for the rep to step in now. So Yaya has kind of stemmed the tide for the moment. Victor Henry still trying to get separation. Victor Henry's back up, and he tells Yaya, come on, stand up. And Yaya gets up even slower. Stay out of there, Victor. Come on. It's like one punch away from stopping this thing. Yep. Yaya's covering up. Just keep swinging. Come on, man. Victor Henry should clearly get the finish here. Oh, here we go. Henry's opening up. He's tired too, and the ref stops it. It wasn't even a dominating finish, but the ref stops it because Yaya was just continuing to take punches, and he's not even arguing. He's putting his hands up above the octagon, and he's tired as heck. The 39-year-old goes down to the youth of Victor Henry, who moves to 24-6, and six. and that was a great fight by Victor Henry, who looked in trouble in the first round, but he defended the takedown so well. He defended it 10 times, and that's going to pump up his takedown defense. Victor Henry gets the win. First KO of the night came in the last fight of the prelims. Victor Henry gets the win here. Bantamweight division, UFC Vegas, 91.